Let's get started. This has been years in the making. I have waited for a remake of the original Nier ever since the original Nier. Ever since I played it, not ever since it came out, because I only played it after I played Automata. But uh, yeah, I am happy. I got the box today. I was a little concerned that I wasn't going to get it on time, because the I didn't really get a tracking email. I only got an email this morning saying that it was on its way, so... I mean, I got it now, so that's cool. Anyway, it came in, in like a big box. Uh, this is the collector's edition, this is the game itself. They came separately, so they you can buy the collector's edition and play the game without having to open the collector's edition. So if you're someone that wants to like buy the collector's edition and uh, you know keep it un keep it sealed, then you can do that and still play the game, which is pretty cool. I guess. Uh, also, a little side note, if you play the Steam, if you want to download the game on Steam, uh, you actually do need uh, like a disc reader to get the code to download it on Steam. So, in case you're one of the people like me who doesn't have a disc reader in his PC, you better hope that you're living with your parents and that they do have a disc reader in their PC. <laughs> Which is what I did. So... But I can't download the game yet, because it hasn't been released yet on Steam. But whatever. We have the collector's edition. I guess I could start by showing the, uh, just the game itself. Oh, the lighting's pretty bad. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Pretty standard, you know. Nothing special. On the inside, you got just the game. I could show you the code, probably. Is that what code is that? Yeah. I'll just register this code by the time I upload this video, anyway. So yeah, that's the game. And here we have the box. I'll show you the back as well. I don't know if you can see with a the light. There's a, uh, a lunar tear, a lunar, is it a lunar tear? Yeah, it's a lunar tear, right? On the back. Not much design, pretty minimalist. On the side, we have near replicant Snow White edition. On the front, we have this nice little design. It's actually uh, one of those covers, the little, little uh, drawing on the front, it's actually a cover, it's not the actual box. We can take that off, and then we have the box on the inside, I'll put that to the side. Uh, anyway, we have a nice pattern of Lunar Tears on the front, that's where the, uh, that's where the front facing part of this was, that's where this was. We have a nice little design of Lunar Tears, it like kind of wraps around the side as well. And the box opens from what was the back before. I don't know if I'm supposed to open it like this, or if I'm supposed to open it like this. I guess I'll just open it like this. Oh. Okay. No, this is way too heavy. I think that the items are on that side. I think I have to open it like this. Yep, I do. Four items. I actually, I kind of forget, forgot what's in the collector's edition. I was gonna buy this regardless of what was in it. I bought it as soon as it released. Uh, so I don't actually remember everything that's in here. I do know what this on the right here is though. This looks to be the steelbook case. As, as advertised, seems to be some kind of metal. I don't know if it's actually steel though. They call it steelbook, but I don't actually know if they're steel. It feels more like aluminum. I don't know if that's standard or not. I've never bought a collector's edition of anything. You can open it. It's empty. This is what it looks like on the front. You've probably seen this in the promotional artwork. This is what it looks like on the back. That's actually something I haven't seen before. That looks really nice. I really like that back uh, backside. And on the inside we have uh, just a picture of, of the opening area of the game. It's kind of Kind of gets reflected in the light. Too bad I don't have like a good camera setup for this. Those who've played the game know what area this is. It's the the very beginning area where you start the game. What do we have next? Second to the right. I guess for you it's the left though. Okay. We have a book that has the same design as Grimoire Vice. 
I'm not sure what it is. I don't think this is the script. I know there's like some kind of script thing in here as well. Feels pretty solid. Definitely like decent quality. Let me open it. Oh. Uh, let's see. I think this might be the bonus discs, uh, the bonus music disc. I'm not sure though. I do think so though. Here we have a disc. On the left here we have... <laughs> Dude, this is all super hard to show on camera because it's also white, so it gets reflected really badly. Uh, but on the right we have some text in like the typical near uh, language, so I have no clue what it says. Uh, we have this little booklet that's in here as well. It says Weiss Edition on the front. And if I open it... It just says a bunch of shit in Japan. Oh no, on the right it says it in English too. There's two pages. Let's see. I'll try to read it. It's really hard to read. It's like, it's white text on a silver background. It's actually hard to read. <laughs> Alright, uh... It seems to be a conversation between Yoko Taro, the director of the game, and Keichi Okabe, which, who is the, um the composer for the soundtrack. So let me read it to you. So, Ilkotaro says, So I was thinking I'd like to include two music di uh, music CDs with a white snow edition, an arranged version and a special edit version. Okabe replies, Oh, nice. With arranged soundtracks, we get to call in different artists and creators for each song, and they always send in such impressive work. It's enough to make me jealous. I'm sure near fans will love it, but, oh, what's the special edit version? Yoko says, Well, I wanted to include a selection of tracks from the full soundtrack, but I don't think fans will be too excited if it's simply the exact same music, so I was thinking we should uh, alter the composition. Okabe replies, Ah, that makes sense. So, who's gonna make it? Yoko replies, Can't you just pop it out real quick like you did for Automata? Uh, what? No. In Automata, I was able to do that because each song has layers with their own dynamics, but the new Replicant isn't built that way. It's a studio mix, so there's no way I could attempt something like that without advance notice. <sighs> Those poor fans spending all their hard-earned money on this Snow White edition are going to be so disappointed. Alright, alright, fine. Just, just leave it to me. And at the bottom it says, and thus, the another edit version was born, literally forced into existence by his mightiness lord Yoko. We hope you enjoy it along with the wonderful Weiss edition arrangement. And on the second page, dude, this is all very small text, but it seems to be a track list. Yeah, it's a track list, uh, and it also tells you, it also gives you the name of every single, uh, every single musician. Like, it says, like, track one, arranger, uh, Ryo Kawamura, bass, Ryo Kawamura, piano, Takana Miyamoto, like, all, it gives you, like, every, every person that worked on the track, that's pretty cool. Nice weeb service, thank you. So, there's supposed to be two tracks, so I'm guessing that behind this, it has like a little little nip on the top that I can pull, pull back, yeah. This is made of wood, actually, this thing. This is like a wooden, what would you call this, like a little plate? And then behind it, we have the, uh, the second disc. For those who haven't noticed, you have Vice on this one, and on this one you just have Vice again, but the colors are inverted. But it's uh, on its side. Hold on. Let me show you. I'm really twisting my arm here. Okay. But that's nice. Alright, let me put that away. Then, I believe these are pins of some kind. It's a, quite a heavy box. Weighs, I mean, weighs less than a battery, but kind of heavy. Let's see, what does it say? It just says White Snow Edition. A little nice design on the front. And let me open it. This is just a warning thing for ages 15 and up. I mean, it's... The game is rated 18 plus, so... If you're only sick, if you're only 14 and ordering this game, you're already ignoring a bunch of warnings. But I do believe these are pins, otherwise there wouldn't be a warning on this. Ooh, would you look at that? We have three pins, 
Grimoire Noir, Grimoire Vice, and Gr Grimoire Rouge. Let me see if I can... I'll grab the Grimoire Noir one. Let's see if we can pin this on. These are quite heavy. These are, uh... I'll show them individually to the camera, actually. These are solid, what I'm guessing is steel. I'm not entirely sure if it's steel, but I'm guessing it's steel. They don't have any designs on the back, just says Square Enix since the pin. It's only on the front. We have some designs. They're nice though. Nice in 3D as well. They're quite heavy though. So I don't know. I don't think you'd wear something like this on your clothes. Maybe you'd, you'd put this on a backpack or something. Um, or you just keep them in the box. Because, I mean, they are collector items after all. Let's see. How do I pin these on? 21-year-old man tries to figure out how a pin works. Oh, shit, I'm gonna stab myself with this. <laughs> Maybe I'm the... F I'm the person that that war warning label was for earlier. I give up. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna break shit before I... I'm gonna break something at this rate. I'm just gonna put it back in its box. Whatever. This is too... Too high... Too, too advanced for me. This is way too advanced. Alright. And then lastly... Or I think this is lastly. I think this is the last thing. I think the rest is just cardboard. Let's see. Doesn't seem to be anything left in here. Let me not destroy the box though. This is a pretty expensive box. <laughs> I don't love taking all that plastic off, it's always such a good feeling. So, yeah, script collection, near replicant script collection, I don't know if you can read this. There we go, it's in focus. We have a nice little design with some more flowers, some more lunar tears on the side, the exact same design on the left side as well. Uh, and in here, let's see, we have the English voiceover script main A. English voiceover script main A2, we have main B1, main B2, subquests 1, subquests 2, and then English voiceover script other. So, let me just take out a random booklet. Oh, they have designs on the front. Do they have different designs? Oh, they do. Hold on. Let me just take them all out and show them to you then. Let's see. Gotta move the camera a bit. Uh, Alright, let's see if this is a... Uh... So we have near, Yona, more near, more Yona. I think this is Yona. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Yona. Should be Yona. Uh, Emil and Kaine. Listen, this is a spoiler free opening, okay? Spoiler free opening. I'm not gonna say who that guy is. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's see what's in the books. I'm guessing they're called script collections. There's gonna be a script in here. Well, that's exactly what's in here. It's a literal script with just character names followed by the text they say in the game. There's no, like, images to guide anything. It's just purely a script. So I guess if you wanted to do a play of some kind, using using the near game as your basis then <laughs> this does have its use but i think this is mostly mostly just a collector's item it's nice to have also it looks pretty nice on your shelf i'm imagining let me put those back and there we go let's show them all in their totality again so, here we have the uh, script collection. Here we have the pins. Let me open the pins. I don't know if you can see. Oh, there's the black in front of it. We have the pins here. Uh, you can't really see it that well. Let me, like, angle it so you can see it better. Ah. All right. We have the pins. Then we have the... Uh, Special edition music disc. We have the steel steel game disc, or what do you call this? What's the name for this again? You know what? A steel case. And then we have the game. 
and that's what's in the box. Well, this wasn't in the box, but you get what I mean. And you get the box, obviously. Can't forget the box itself. That's part of the purchase, after all. Uh, but yeah, this all in total comes to, well, at least when I pre-ordered it, 150 euros. So subtract, subtracting the cost of the game leaves you with about 90 euros for these collector's items. Uh, obviously a bit overpriced, but that's the whole point of a collector's item. They are supposed to be pretty expensive because, you know, it's only for collectors. I guess I'm a collector now. I, I guess I am kind of a near collector. I have a lot of near stuff. Uh, yeah. This is pretty nice. I'm gonna put this back in the box now. There we go! Dear Replicant, version 1.22. Uh, I'm definitely not gonna cheat. Version 1.22474487139 dot dot dot. That was the unboxing. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, I'll be streaming this game, obviously, when it comes out tonight at uh, 6. Uh, if you want to watch at my Twitch, my link is in the description or fucking in the beginning of the video, probably, at some point. Uh, yeah, I hope to see you there. And I hope you get to enjoy this game as much as I did when I first played it. And I hope this version is going to be even better than the first one. I mean, if it has the same story and better gameplay, then how could it not be, right? Bye, guys. Enjoy your day. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Maybe I should do like a YouTube outro.